First of all, how's the summer going? What are you, what are you Do, doing? It's my second summer here in New York. Yeah, and you're I'm, a New Yorker. I'm a yeah, New Yorker now. Absolutely, yeah. I'm still going back and forth. Actually, I went back to L.A. last weekend, and I get very few nights off with my girlfriend. And I said, hey, let's do a date night. I'm going to barbecue. And I get home, and I look in my closet, and I have a few clothes there. And I see this shirt. And I pull it out, and I feel it. And I'm like, God, I don't know why I didn't bring this to New York. This is great. It's very soft. It's got a nice dip. So I put it on. <laughs> nice dip to it? Yeah, nice dip. Right, right, right about there. Like a deep summer dip. Yeah, summer dip. Sure, of course. And I, I put it on. I'm so proud of it. And I'm standing by the grill. And I say, hey, babe, what kind of kebab? You know, we're grilling kebabs. What kind yeah. of kebab would you like? And she says, why are you wearing my shirt? <laughs> You were wearing your girlfriend's T-shirt. I was wearing her shirt, yeah. and I was actually kind of proud of it. <laughs> yeah. ha hashtag why I should be single, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly. That ruins the whole day. It's just so the traveling uh, back I, I, and forth. I also want to talk to you about, dude, the Kardashians. You are executive producer of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. You, it's, you, you got to, like, understand, like, what you've created. Well, this is an amazing thing that you... Technically, you've... I gave birth to none of them, so I that's didn't create... That's true. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. You uh, did not give birth. Chris Jenner has yes. been my partner in this from the beginning. <laughs> yes. And it, I mean, I love them. I love that family. They are as close and as tight as any family I've ever met. And they always have... I mean, there's always something going on. Dude, there's always something going on. But do you get the calls? Do you get the texts as an executive producer? Like, dude... Drama. Well, sometimes Chris, Chris and I. <laughs> oh my God, Ryan. Chris, Chris will, Chris Jenner will text me, and you know sometimes I'll look down as Chris will say, "Call me," and my heart sinks because you never know what it's going to be. Yeah. And more often than not, it's, "Hey, do you have a great caterer? I'm in a pinch." Oh really? So you know the drama usually unfolds in public before I even know about it. But you do so many things. Is that something that you like? Oh, that's what I'll be remembered well, for. Well, Larry King hosted a dinner, and I'm proud of... They've tackled some unbelievable things on that show. I and, love them. And, I think they're great. I and, love people... We, we make jokes, and people go like, oh, it, they don't work, or they don't do anything. They, they go, no, work dude, they, so hard. <laughs> they they, wear, you don't wake up wearing makeup. I mean, right. you, <laughs> you, it's, it's a Listen, show. It's Larry, Larry King had a dinner one night, and he had foreign leaders over, and he had Sidney Poitier, and all these important people, and somehow... You know, he and I are very close, so yeah. he invited me to come along. And they're going around the table, and these world leaders are talking about what they contributed to the world. And Larry's like, and what we'll do is we'll go around the table, everybody will uh, talk about what they contributed. And I'm thinking, well, I haven't done anything. <laughs> no, no. You so won't. I say, <laughs> have any of you guys heard of the Kardashians? And they say, all of them, yeah. I said, well, That's me. I helped create that. <laughs> That's and, your contribution. I got, I got contribution. a lot of questions. That's my contribution. I love Listen, it. Listen, and I'm proud. I love it, man. Proud. I, I love the whole family. They're the best. Uh, uh, you're crushing it on live. Uh, how's Kelly Ripa doing? She is That's the greatest. Yeah, she's, you, 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 you guys know, click. Dude, I, we're morphing into the same individual. You actually are becoming <laughs> one person. Like, our hair is almost the same. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I've known her for 15 years, and I love her. She makes coming to work so special and so great. And she's the most talented person that I've ever worked with every day. Yeah, she's fantastic. You know? But uh, do you like doing it? Do you like getting out? I know you're... I, it's I like early. It. I, I, it's early, but it's live, and, y you know, you, you put it together. You're not quite sure how it's going to go. And... Do you like the trivia things? I, oh, that's my... the trivia games are great. That's my favorite. Y y the trivia games, you know, we had a chance to, to... Somebody didn't get it right, and we had a chance to give them something anyway, and you get to connect with real people and, and change their lives and talk to people around the country. That was my favorite part. I'm, I'm a big fan. And I, I love... Uh, I started with Regis and Kathy Lee, man. Right, of course. Kathy Lee was my girl. I had... Yeah. I just, yeah, I had and a crush Regis on Kathleen Gifford. I'd like, and Regis is so fun. And uh, it was actually um, my TV debut. Was on Regis and Kathy Lee? Yeah, well, I'll tell you why. Because we were playing the trivia game, okay? And it is live. When you say we were playing a trivia game... You... Well, I wasn't really playing the trivia game, but I went, I got tickets to go see... <laughs> I was in the audience, I was in the audience, <laughs> and I was going to see uh, uh, Regis and Kathy Lee, and yeah. I'm in the audience, and they do the trivia game where it's like, uh, who was, <laughs> who played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars? You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, ah, oh, is it uh, yeah, Mark Hamill? Yeah. He's like, that's correct, you won. <laughs> you, you, we got the prize, they win luggage or something. And so I said to my buddy, I go, dude, if we just stand up like we won, no matter what seat, because they share it with in somebody the audience, in the audience. Right. Somebody in the audience has a ticket number and they stand up. So I said, dude, whatever they say, just stand up. Because 
the camera has to go to us, it's live, and they'll probably be like, they'll do it. So I go, no matter what, so they're like, Oh, uh, it's chair number five. It's <laughs> and I go, we're chair number 200 and something. And we're like, and we stood up and started clapping. And we're on, I go, dude, we'll be on television. Greatest. And I, uh, and then, uh, and uh, Regis did not like that. Well, that was your big break. <laughs> that he, was your big break. That was my big break. But actually, we have, we found the tape of me doing this. this so is, what, what year is this? This is 19, this is 1994 with my friend Gerard Bradford. <laughs> uh, where right, this let, is my television it. debut live with Regis and Kathleen Lee. Okay. okay. One and 162. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Congratulations, and you and our lucky audience winner have each won a $500 J.C. Penny gift certificate. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> My TV no. debut, dude. Famous. That's yeah, so exactly. good. <laughs> wait, wait. So, I, I just. If, if any, if tomorrow people will do that on our show oh, now. Oh, no, anybody, sorry, yeah, don't do it. No, no, do it. And we'll call it the Fallon. I mean, please. We'll, <laughs> You're we'll make, pulling a Fallon. We'll make Gelman give away stuff. Love it to everybody. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.